Okay, marijuana and tobacco on a cruise ship, specifically on Carnival Cruise Line, that's something we need to discuss and we're gonna get you all the information you need to know coming up. Marijuana and tobacco on a cruise ship with Carnival Cruise Line. That's what this episode is about, but if you're with us for the first time, my name is Jason and here on the Travel Scouts, we aim to be your cruise information channel. So if you love cruising, consider subscribing. There are 10 things you need to know about Carnival Cruise Line's latest marijuana and tobacco policy. We're going to get those to you in rapid fire fashion, so here you go. Number one, smoking of all sorts is considered a fire and safety hazard on board a ship. So Carnival Cruise Line has strictly limited all smoking to specific exterior deck areas as well as in the casino when seated and playing. Number two, all staterooms and suite accommodations to include their outside balcony areas are considered non-smoking on a Carnival Cruise. Number three, as mentioned earlier, this policy applies to all forms of smoking, but to be more specific, this applies to cigarettes, cigars, pipes, vaporizers, e-cigarettes, and marijuana. Number four, Carnival Cruise Line recognizes that some state and local governments and some of the destinations that the cruise line visits allows marijuana usage. However, Carnival Cruise Line follows U.S. federal law, which prohibits the possession or use of medicinal or recreational marijuana. Number five, and this is when it gets a little juicy. What happens if a person gets caught breaking the tobacco and marijuana policy for Carnival Cruise Line? Well, for each violation, there can be a $500 charge. This will be charged to the sell and sign account. Now, this doesn't mean that you're allowed to continue on with the smoking of either the tobacco or the marijuana. It doesn't mean that at all, where a person could be like, well, hey, just charge me the $500 and I'm gonna you know, go ahead and do my thing on the cruise. Doesn't mean that at all. And additionally, a person and their entire stateroom can be disembarked from the cruise or they can even be banned from sailing with Carnival Cruise Line in the future. And if they are disembarked, the cruise guest is responsible for all expenses required to return home and all of that. All of that will be on them and there will be no refund for the portion of their cruise that they missed out on. Number six is what happens if you smell smoke while you're on board the cruise ship and you think there may be a violation to policy? Well, Carnival Cruise Line has stated in their policy that they don't want guests settling this among themselves, that if a guest is concerned about someone violating the policy, instead they have asked that they report that to guest services on board the ship. Number seven is what if a guest has a letter from a doctor stating that they are allowed to use marijuana for therapeutic or medicinal purposes? Well, with this situation, I guess it's happened several times with Carnival Cruise Line. They have stated very firmly that marijuana is not allowed on board the cruise ships and that if a guest has that concern, then they need to consult with their doctor to find another suitable alternative for them. Number eight is Carnival Cruise Line wants to point out that the smoking policy is included on the cruise ticket contract. So when someone signs up everything to get that cruise ticket, they are agreeing to follow the smoking policy. Another one of those situations where you got to read the fine print. Moving on to number nine, many of you probably know that Carnival Cruise Line, they do sell tobacco products on board the cruise ship. And number nine is that in accordance with federal law, you have to be 21 years of age or older in order to purchase tobacco on board the cruise ship. Number 10 is for those of you that may be a smoker and you may be wondering on an upcoming cruise that you have with Carnival where the specific areas are on that ship where you can smoke. Well, on Carnival's website, they do have a page with plenty of links for each one of their cruise ships that gives the specific areas where smoking is allowed on board the cruise ship along with any special notes regarding smoking that they have. So be sure to check that out, follow the guidelines, and you will be good to go. So there you go. We want to keep you informed here on the Travel Scouts. And look, the next video is going to be coming out soon. So be sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss it. God bless you. Have a good night. And we'll catch you in the next video.